Hey guys, it's Nikki from Still Mama's Nursery. I've had a number of requests asking me how to insert the needles into the mushroom hair rooting tool that we sell on the website. So I thought I'd do a quick SMN show and show you how I do it. So when you buy your tool, it will come with your handle bit, which is the plastic bit that you're going to hold on to when you're hand rooting your doll head. It also comes with two collets. Um, there's two sizes in, or two different hole sizes in them. So the one that you're wanting to, in, to hold your needle is the one that closes all the way up. So you're wanting this one here. So that one's actually going to close all the way up onto your needle and actually hold it in, in place while you're um, rooting your hair. Um, these other ones you can use to in, uh, insert drill bits in. If you're drilling out the doll's nose, just insert the drill bit into um, the end exactly the same way that you would your felty needle um, and then you can just drill out the nose um, using your tool. So getting the one that actually closes all the way up, you're wanting um, your needle. Now these needles don't need to be cut so you can leave the little knock on the end so you, there's no need to cut that off which is really good because it does jar your wrist when you're trying to cut through you know, the metal because it's quite thick. So with these tools you don't need to cut the needles. And then what you do is you just insert from the opposite end and you're just wanting to sort of feed it all the way through and just watch that you don't poke your fingers. So all the way through and then you're wanting it to come out in the middle and then you're just sliding that all the way up until it sort of pushes in. Now these ones are quite short so the end of the felting needle is actually um, going to sit flush um, on the end of the collet. And then what you do is you just insert it in straight into the tool and it should just slide straight in. So it shouldn't be you know hard to sort of get that in. Um, so it should slide straight in, just like that. And then you also get a little screw top bit, which actually presses down and holds the needle into place. So you're just going to simply slip that over the needle and then just screw that down. And what that's going to do is actually close up um, the vise. So it's going to hold the needle. So as you can see, you just want to sort of tighten it fairly tight so it's not going to move. And then that's um, how you insert the needle. And then just to sort of test it, you can sort of just you know, wobble it on and just make sure that it's not going to move. And that's um, perfectly fine. So now I'm ready to go and um, root my doll heads um, with the hair. And you can sort of see the different gauges and effects you can get with the different felting needles. So you know, depending on what needle that you want will give a different effect. So that's how you insert the needle into the mushroom hair rooting tools. Um, I'll put a link to this particular tool if anybody's um, looking to buy the tool. Um, I'll put a link in the descriptions bar below so you guys can find that um, easily. It also helps as well because a lot of people actually hand root with just the needle and I find if I actually do this um, I get um, quite a sore hand because I'm actually holding the needle and pinching it really sort of tight and sort of if you're doing you know just with the needle you're sort of pinching it like that and I, I sort of tend to get sore you know, all the way up my wrist. So um, some people tie uh, rubber bands around them, which helps. Um, but I just find that you know, having a mushroom tool, um, you can sort of get a nice hold on it. Um, this is basically how I hold my tools when I'm doing my dolls. So I sort of just pinch it between um, my fingers and my thumb. And I'll put my main finger on the top. And that just sort of gives me um, direction that I can sort of get and control I'm um, using sort of this finger. So um, that's how you insert the needles or the full length needles um, into the felting tool. Um, if you have got cut needles um, that have been cut, um, they'll probably be half the size of the needle. You insert them exactly the same way. You might need a pair of pliers just to gently pull the needle through a little bit to, um, until it catches, uh, which is generally sort of on the thicker part uh, of the needle here. So you just want to sort of pull it down until it catches, sort of about there. But you can use the full, uh, the full length needles or you can use the pre-cut needles if you've um, already got your needles cut. Um, so both work perfectly fine in this tool. 
But anyway guys, I hope you thought it was interesting and it's sort of a little bit more explained for you. But like I said, I sell this tool so if you guys are wanting um, to sort of use it in your reboarding, um, I'll put a link in the descriptions bar below. But thanks guys for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!